Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. It's springtime, it's rodeo season, and I'm going to take you with me shopping to brunch, then to the rodeo, along with some other places that I visited on my birthday. So, also if you haven't picked up your copy of Sprinkle Sprinkle, definitely get your book. The link is going to be in the description bar, and I hope you enjoy the rest of this video. So, if you haven't heard, yes, I have tried my new hair products. And I think a lot of people are trying these hair products at this time. Sacred, of course, by your girl Beyonce. Sprinkle, sprinkle. And the hair oil, the rice and rose treatments ritual, and the hair lotion are awesome. The smell is phenomenal and the products really work. So if you guys have not tried Sacred, I definitely think that it's worth a shot. If you are just curious, it works great in my hair. See? No other product in my hair except for the hair lotion and the Sacred Oil. Now let's go to brunch. So I took Layla and Sasha to brunch at this really nice place and i hope you guys will like it it's called little hen and it is in the river oaks district so i hope you guys can enjoy it but first let's walk around a bit and then we'll go to brunch look at this tesla car this tesla truck Not a Roblox car. She's so cute. Our friends at Love Shark Fancy again. I bet you they remember you. I'm back. I brought my other daughter. Hi. Hi. Love Shark Fancy. Thank you so much. No problem. Y'all have a good one, okay? Hi. What's your name? My name's Bria. Hey, Bria. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> After some shopping, we went to the Little Hen for brunch, and I got this really awesome drink. It's a rose flavored cocktail, and it was really good. I got rose pancakes with rose flavored uh, syrup. The kids got vegan burgers and mocktails, a little fruity concoction, there. and here is that delicious rose syrup and then we went shopping some more this shell purse was so beautiful I, I i wanted to get this so bad um i didn't get it because i didn't have anything to wear with it but now i think i do yeah. sasha was in there picking out stuff looking at things this was a shop called saint bernard and they had really nice clothes so we just had a good time that day shopping I had like a little girls day out and had a lot of fun shopping taking pictures I have a little mini love shack fancy haul i got the girls each a dress and i got a little cute lacy skirt as you'll see and also got another one of their perfumes that are so good so this is what we got so cute right Um, we found this art artsy store that sold art as well as sort of like a museum so we looked around in there and they had some interesting things now it's time to get ready for the rodeo okay so i'm going to be trying on some hats and these pictures and then taking a ride near where i live you know i kind of live in the country um uh, i live in texas of course so Y'all should know by now. I'm a Texas girl, so watch as I prepare for the rodeo and get my outfits together and just do a little shopping and just getting ready. If y'all have never been to the Houston Livestock Show and Rodeo, y'all are going to get a little sneak preview. So 
are y'all ready to go shopping for the rodeo? Okay, I found this place and it is called Boot Ranch. And they have so much awesome rodeo gear in here. I also went to Boot Barn before this and I got some good stuff there too. So um, in here, I'm just gonna show y'all all the cute rodeo outfits they have, especially for women. They have so many cute little outfits. I ended up buying a belt and a t-shirt from here and I think I looked at a bunch of boots but I had already gotten my boots but they have some really cute little girly cowgirl outfits here that I wanted to show y'all so this place is called Gomez Boot Ranch yeah I think it's on I-10 and they have a huge selection so if y'all are looking for some cowgirl or cowboy outfits this is your spot they have different colors of everything and wait till y'all see the boots um i almost splurged and bought like three pair of boots that cost over like 500 dollars, but i stopped myself because i already bought two pair from a different place but i will definitely go back and get some boots that I saw that I really wanted um in the future of course can't I already have like five pairs of boots um and I don't need any more at this time so maybe I can give some to my daughter because they already have boots too see in Texas you already have boots so you just buy more <laughs> So here are all the beautiful boots that they have. I was in awe. I'm like, I need them all. I'm getting all of the colors, all of the style. So the reason why people wear boots a lot is from from safety. Like, you know, when you're riding a horse or when you're walking around on a ranch, there's snakes sometimes and you, you know, when they step on something, they don't want it to just like bite their ankle and it's kind of tough to get through that leather. And also they last a long time and you don't have to worry about getting new stuff over and over because they're built to last and they also look good okay so and these are a bunch of buckles that they had for sale I didn't really want a buckle I think these are more for men but they're cute and this is me and Sasha at the rodeo how do we look um, Layla was there too but she didn't wear a hat but she had on her little boots the outfits at the rodeo were so cute. If y'all have gone, y'all know. Layla had her hair in two ponytails and little shorts and boots on. So she was looking cute too. And yeah, we had a great time. Look at Y'all, we stood in line for Trill Burgers for a while. This is a awesome burger place in Houston. And it's owned by Bumby. Um, and also, they have vegan Trill Burgers. Of course, that's why we were in line. And these are someone else's, so that's how you burger still. Of course, I had to have my jalapenos. And these are the vegan burgers. I also saw a Selena plaque. Are you? How quick are you? This is not only a 
Beats what you can do athletically once you get to that sphere. Here's Don Payne. Now watch him drop. Oh. Y'all, these cowboys and cowgirls get paid big bucks to do rodeos. So they're collecting they, they bags. Man, okay. He's won $900,000 in the United States and that much more in Canada. Yeah, he's my big surprise for the bull that he hasn't gotten a After that, it was time for the concert, and we got tickets to see Lainey Wilson, and she was spectacular. <laughs> and rode out we were like oh my goodness <laughs> After that we went to the rodeo carnival where I met a lot of you guys who recognized me and took pics so I had so much fun. We went on this haunted mansion ride. weekend and the next weekend we went to a little hotel and had a little staycation in the woodlands and we just kind of went shopping because they have really nice shopping places over there the market street and they had the mall and a few more places a giant barnes and noble bookstore so we kind of wanted to spend a chill weekend just girls and have a great time Back in that bed. You little no, Sasha. Like, like you take up so much space. Me? Yeah, you like, no, oh, you gotta go on the edge okay. of the bed. I need most of it. So, you're going, so you're gonna sleep on that. Okay, so they do have like. We just had a chill, relaxing weekend, went out to dinner, went to the mall, and shopped a little bit, hung out in the hotel, and just had the best 45th birthday ever. Also, thank you everyone who sent me birthday gifts, cash apps, and nice birthday greetings. I really appreciate you guys. Y'all are so sweet. And 
I love spending time with my daughters and just chilling and y'all make it all possible for me to also do what I love to do as well as my husband James who (laughs) funded all of this anyway um, I'll see y'all on the next one sprinkle sprinkle don't forget to click like and subscribe if you're new and I will see y'all soon